We want to continue our team coverage on this tragic connection. Our Brandon Walker is live in Montrose tonight where a vigil was held this evening for the mother and children killed in that crash on Sunday. Brandon. And Christine, frankly, there are not words to describe how this family feels. You just heard from Roseanne. You saw what they had to deal with this morning. They had to deal with another tragedy on Sunday of this week. And so tonight they came here to Wiley Park to grieve, but also to let you know, as Roseanne mentioned, they need your prayers. Let me just come to you tonight, Father God. In a park, heads bowed. Hearts full. Prayer pushed peace, protection for a family broken from grandma to dad. Grief dropped Damien House to his knees. He'll have to bury his wife, his three children, his everything. So I just want to say, I miss my family, man. Damien spoke to the crowd about how he feels, how they all feel. It's been nearly a week of feeling. Yet, on this Friday, <laughs> they released what they could. I have one of the most beautiful and joyful family. Like, my wife loves to be a great mother. She's one of the best mothers I've seen. I called her Pochop. Best cousin, too, says Beatrice Jones. Cousins, more like sisters. Portia was the light of the family. She brought everybody together. <laughs> Portia did so again Friday, brought everybody together. Her boys did, too. Dad's thought so much about his boys. They're in his heart. They're in him. My kids, just, they're so amazing. If you want to be around them, you'll get attached to them. Mr. Damien, some 28 years old, you sit on that for a second. You understand what he is dealing with tonight. I want to bring back the point my colleague Roseanne Aragon shared. This family is thankful for the support that they have received from throughout the Houston community. But yet again tonight, they reiterate they need your prayers. We're live in Fourth Ward. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News. Our hearts go out to both of those families. Brandon, we appreciate the update. Thank you.